There are quite a few hidden discoveries I've made while crusading through the pre-alpha, as if this entire development phase wasn't secretive enough. I'll be going through what I consider unusual even for this build. First, the creatures. While going through them you should see a familiar stat monitor to the left. Spider base. I believe it's the base template for early glyphids. When spawned in it still uses the default textures instead of the DRG specific ones. It deals quite a bit of damage but has minimal health. It's worth noting that the early glyphid models were placeholders grabbed from an infinity blade pack. Big jellyfish base. This also appears to be a template for cave jellies. It appears to have no attacks whatsoever, or they simply don't work anymore. Unlike the Glyphid one, it does have a decent amount of health. Troll. Yeah, let me attempt to explain this one. The devs have went on record to say they don't want any old trope fantasy creatures in their game, but we have a big old troll right here. Going by what they've said, it seems like this might have been the earliest of creature tests. Assumedly some sort of a Praetorian test. While he has a lot of health, he's harmless and is unable to move nor attack. But there are signs of melee and ranged attacks in the files. Possibly leftovers from Infinity Blade? What's interesting is that we see a health bar appear in the troll when shooting at it. Which is normal for most of us by now, but this feature wasn't put into the game until update 21, a little under 3 years after the pre-alpha. Because before then, the health bar wouldn't follow the creature you're shooting at, rather it would just appear on the HUD. Other than creature templates, there are a few other noteworthy discoveries. Screen heads up display. While readjusting the HUD, for a brief period they experimented with these little screens detailing various information. Definitely didn't inspire the monitors I do on my videos. While this style does work out for my videos, it's most certainly too bulky from an in-game perspective. I'd just rather have the HUD turned off most of the time at this point. I'm perfectly satisfied with the HUD that we have currently. Abandoned mines. They were seemingly a very early prototype of machinery you could find in the caves. In the pre-alpha, various large models get called out but are placed outside of the caves with no functions attached to them. Not entirely sure if they had any functionality planned, but if they did, I'm willing to bet those ideas later evolved into what machine events are today. And lastly, I've already showed these off in the previous classified but thought it was interesting to note that Barricade and Foam Gun are referenced as early as the pre-alpha.